Hi, Kai here from Kai's Creations. Nice to see you guys all again. So I'm going to switch it up a little bit. And instead of doing a DIY today, I am going to be doing my very first Dollar Tree haul. So, I have so many new things. I am a shopaholic, especially when it comes to crafty things, um, as many of you probably are and can relate to. Um, but so, I've been saving up stuff for a least three or four months now um and thinking i would do a dollar tree haul before i actually a dollar tree haul video before i actually did anything with them well i have so many things you guys so i think i'm actually going to break this up into a few videos or at least two videos um because there's just so much stuff and i want to put it into categories and that kind of thing so the first thing i wanted to do was I figured I'd go back to a few months ago some of the first things I bought and actually I just realized I need to grab something out of my closet so I'm gonna be one minute it's very uncool for this video but I will be back in one second let me grab something Okay, so most of the things in this video are not craft related actually they're just stuff I loved at the Dollar Tree and couldn't live without um, and wanted to play with and um, you know as a crafter we all like are suckered in by so many great deals at the Dollar Tree but I also work there so it's like doubly sucked in you guys because I see st new stuff almost every single day I'm at work there's something new where I'm like oh my god I want that or oh my god I could make something out of that so I really have to be careful and resist but um little history on me with gardening um never was much of someone with a green thumb um tried you know here and there um then you know i'm in my late 40s now so probably in my early to mid 40s i had started a garden a couple times at places where i lived and it would always go to hell in a handbasket the minute i moved um or somebody you know i'm not trying to place blame on people in my past but somebody would accidentally throw a whole bunch of stuff away or something like that during the move and so I pretty much had to start over from scratch then about two years ago I think and um, when I lived in Washington with my now ex-husband um, and his family I had a pretty good little garden going I had maybe 20 25 plants at the most some succulents different kinds of lavender sage you name it um even had some successful little uh uh baby cherry tomatoes and hybrid cherry tomatoes that were growing and producing bear, uh, producing tomatoes and i had um some blueberry bushes that were producing blueberries i had like i said several different kinds of sage that i grew and dried out for sage burners um i had lavender that i was drying out and using in my bath bombs and things um and then i got divorced and i moved and i couldn't take my plants with me right away and they didn't survive the winter or me not being there to take care of them so by the time i went to get my stuff most everything was dead i salvaged about hmm, five or six pots that were really pretty that i wanted to use in a new garden sometime and a couple of other things and on the trip uh, with my friend Courtney from there to here, um, where I live in Post Falls, Idaho now, um, we opened one door at a rest stop, not realizing stuff had shifted in the back seat. And when she knew it, every single one of those pots fell out and broke right in front of me. So <laughs> it seems at some point, and I'm not even sure I can do that where I'm living now, but I'm going to try anyway. Um, I'm going to have to restart my garden again and just keep trying. Um, maybe when I get my own place. Anyway, moving on. I grabbed two of these amazingly cool things. They look like uh, fidget spinners, almost like this. But these are from the Dollar Tree, and they are stackable. So let's see. You can stack them like that. Look at that, you guys. That is so cool. And then you basically, you could do six different plants in these, like herbs or something, or strawberries. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do on them yet. I just got two in blue because I like this color and I like that they stack. I've even seen people 
using these for parties where they're putting like chips in the middle and different kinds of cups of dip in the little three pockets there. But yeah, so anyways, grabbed a couple of those in hopes of doing a garden this spring. And along that thread, they had some adorable, amazing garden stuff, like for fairy gardens, that I could not live without. Um, I'm actually really secretly hoping that maybe I'll have my daughters up here this spring or summer. And maybe my youngest daughter, Ava, might be willing to, maybe even Jade, I don't know, but might be willing to help me with a fairy garden. I don't know. Ava, are you watching? <laughs> what do you think? You Where do you see this stuff? And then you tell me what you think, okay? All right, so let's see. Let's start out with the little, I don't even know what you'd call these, uh, little scenes, I guess. That, like This is like the foundation for a little scene. It's got some grass, and it's got like a little broken white fence around it. Um, so that's one. I got two of those, actually. And they actually have some fairy or flowers on the side that are really pretty. And then there's this more fantasy-themed one. Looks like something out of Candyland. It's got, like, frosting and little sprinkles on it, you guys. So cute. Okay, so you'll see there's different things to go with those. Okay, so for, like, the regular one... Okay, I had to get these little doors, first of all. And I got several different kinds. There's that one. Let's see, I'm going to set everything over here. There's the red one that's almost the same, but red. And then there's this one that says welcome and has like a little treehouse uh, theme. And then, let's see, this is kind of a gate. Some of these still have the tags on them, you guys. I haven't even, they're just waiting for me to do something with. And then there's a little mushroom one that says has a little welcome sign on it. And then, let's see what else do we have. We have a little uh, well, a little water well with a leaf roof. I thought that was super cute. It's got vines on it. And let's see. I've got a little, it's stuck under my water bottle, a little path. A little paved path that you can put down somewhere in a plant or on one of those little scene squares. Um, okay. So then for like the regular stuff, okay, look, we've got, we've got some little critters. Let's see, there's, looks like a turtle, a frog, and a bird. I don't know if you guys can see these that well. They are adorable. Then we have some gnomes. I mean, who doesn't love gnomes? <laughs> okay, then I used to not really care about gnomes, I swear, but it's like a thing these days. Everybody loves gnomes. Some more gnomes, different kinds. Then I've got some female gnomes, some gnomettes, I guess. <laughs> and I've got oh, some little signs and plants. That, I think that's another little welcome sign. So, I mean, really, I could probably do several fairy gardens, you guys. Several little mini gardens inside my potted plants. This is like, I don't know, there's a beehive, there's a windmill, there's a little flower tree stump thing. Very cute. And then, I have to tell you also, first of all, they just came out with more. I bought these like three months ago. They're coming out with more, and they keep bringing out more. So I just today put in my pile. <laughs> I kind of cheat and make piles sometimes, or little things I set aside, should I say, um, for payday. So payday is in a week. Um, I have a few things put aside, and in there they have some actual fairies that are the size. They're the size of these little gnomes, and they're fairies. So, I got some actual fairies coming from my fairy garden. And let's see what else. Okay, now for the more fantasy one, we have a unicorn with some, like, very big for that, you know, I mean, they're miniature, but for his size, um, what do you call those cookies? Now I'm having a brain fart. Somebody tell me in the comments. I can't remember. These are the cookies as a baker I really want to try making sometime. Can't remember. They're not scones. Macaroons. Macaroons. Yes. Some little macaroons in there. Okay. With the unicorn. Then there's a whole pack of just unicorns. Oh my gosh. I'm not even a unicorn person, you guys, but so cute. Okay. Then there's some giant cupcakes. Again, these are all miniature, but I'm saying for the size they are, like for the little people and stuff, these are giant, giant cupcakes to them. 
Then there is, let's see, some a little welcome lollipop sign, a lollipop, some candy canes. Again, so this would be part of the fantasy one that would probably go with this little candy land looking background and the unicorns. And then, of course, I have a little bridge. I mean, how stinking cute, you guys. Okay. And then I have a little archway with candy on it. Oh, my gosh. Let's say candy carnival. Okay. Then there's a little pathway that you can lay down that looks like it's made out of lollipops or candy. How cute. And then, okay, it looks like I missed some that go with the regular set. I have a little staircase made out of logs and has some moss on it. I have a fire pit. <laughs> Somebody's heating up. There's a pot over that fire. Somebody's heating up something to cook. Um, little logs tied together. And then I have a little pond, I guess that would be. A little pond of water in there. And I might even, you know, touch these up or repaint some of these. Like I'm thinking I could put some glitter glue in there and make that, or a little bit of resin or something, and make that really look like a watery pond. I don't know. Anyways, those are those. Let's see, what else do we have? A couple extras here. We've got this fairy on a unicorn. That was the only fairy I got a few months ago, but like I said, there's more coming. Um, okay, and then to continue with our garden theme, I got this frog. Now, there was a lady's hair. I got the, there was like three or four different poses for these frogs, these garden frogs. It's just a ceramic frog that you can set in your garden somewhere um, or in your house if you wanted. This guy is just chilling, laying back with his legs crossed. There's three or four different poses. And I just picked the one I liked and walked away. I was very proud of myself. I was like, okay, cool. Later that same day, a lady came and literally bought every other one we had. She bought like 25 of these in all the poses, all the ones we had out on the shelf. And I thought, dang it, maybe I should have gotten one with the other pose. Well, they're coming back too. I've seen them in two waves so far. And I think they might be coming back again. So I might have just swiped another one in a different pose to put in my pile so yeah we'll see <laughs> let's hope i'm not senile and have a senior moment and it end up grabbing the same pose that would be so like me you guys okay then there was the same thing with these mushrooms there was three or four different styles um of colors or whatever and paint patterns I picked out the one I love the best in this pretty brown, kind of a reddish brown with dots and different colors and things on it. I'm not sure how well you can see that, you guys, but it's it's just, I mean, it's really simple um, matte, you know, rough clay painting on the bottom, but the top is like all glassy and smooth and really pretty colors in there. So I picked that one. There was some others. Should I maybe grab some others? Maybe. Then again, on the other side, should I have maybe not grabbed any of this stuff? Possibly. <laughs> maybe I'm just a shopaholic and I should stop. <laughs> but I can't, you guys. It's too... Oh, my God, I can't. Okay, so I'm looking at the clock here. I'm at 13 minutes. So maybe I'll show you a couple other things and then save the rest for the other video. Okay, so let's see. What else can I show you? Well... On the topic of gnomes, I got this gnome for Valentine's Day. Like I said, I used to not be a gnome person, but they seem to be really popular these days, and especially among crafters. Now, here's a little confession, though. I know a lot of crafters that have made gnomes, and all different kinds of gnomes that they've handmade. I have never tried to hand make one yet. Hmm, so... That might be in, our, in my future. Maybe I need to try to make my own gnome. But nonetheless, picked one of these up for Valentine's Day. Kind of a funny story. I had picked up a couple of them because... Um, no, I had picked up one. This, with the pink hat and the red heart. And he was the one I liked the best. Well, my roommate's dogs kind of chew things a lot. My dog doesn't. 
Um, so they got a hold of it somehow. They got in my room and got a hold of it, and they chewed it to pieces. We couldn't even really recognize which one it was. So my roommate went out and bought one in every different color <laughs> to replace the one I had. And so I picked out the one I had, and I returned the other ones and exchanged them for other things. Um, so I got this one. This was my Valentine's one. And I put them up there. I have a couple other little stuffies that I got for friends. I don't know if you guys saw these around Valentine's Day. Again, I used to not be that into stuffies and things, but I really am now. So this one was part of a set that one said you and one said me. So the, part, the one that said me went to one of my other friends, and I kept the you one. And then these two, one said best and one said friends. So I kept the one that said friends and one, one of my other friends kept the one that said best. So those remind me of my two best friends uh, right now who are Linda and Courtney. Shout out. Um, okay, so put those back. So then Easter came around, well, not yet, but Easter stuff came around to the Dollar Tree recently. And I saw this one. He has bunny ears, y'all. Bunny ears! I mean, so stinking cute. So, of course, I had to grab him, too. So, now I have my stuffies up there. And I have a little um, Valentine's gnome, little heart gnome, and a little bunny Easter gnome. I can't wait for more holidays. Maybe I'm just going to start a gnome fuzzy, fuzzy, uh, collect what do you call it? Plushy. I'm going <laughs> to... I can't talk, you guys. I'm going to start a gnome plushie collection if they keep coming out with this size and for different holidays. Oh, my gosh. So stinking cute. I'm not big on St. Patrick's Day either, you guys. But if they came out with a St. Patrick's Day gnome, oh, I think I'd have to have him. So we'll just see what else they come out with. Okay, so I'm going to put those back up there because they go up there in my decoration basket. See, they're up there on my wall. Okay. So, what else can I show you that kind of goes along with this thing? Okay, I can show you this. So, I have seen people pick these up before. I think I've even seen DIYs made on these. I, they use them on signs and stuff. I don't know. But for some reason, I've never gotten any. Never seemed to have a use for it or really wanted to make anything out of them. But, the other day, somebody was buying like 10 of these. And as I was ringing them up... A little light bulb went on and I went oh my gosh you know what this reminds me of this reminds me of a stencil hmm and I like to do wooden signs and farmhouse signs and all that so I thought okay if I buy one of these whole thing for a dollar um, take these chains off take this wire off of there then I have a permanent metal stencil that says welcome that I can use over and over and over again on signs okay <laughs> I was so excited about that I don't know maybe it's just me but I was like hello a permanent metal stencil that says welcome and it's so stinking cute gotta have it okay and then of course I might repaint this flower and use it on a farmhouse sign too so really I'm gonna get a permanent stencil and an embellishment for a project and who knows, maybe even some little chain or wire that I might use on something else. So at least two projects, etc., for one buck. Cannot beat that. Had to buy one, so I did. Okay, so that's that. What else can I show you? Oh, okay, here we go. This is sort of garden themed. We'll go with this. <laughs> okay, I have seen so many crafters, and maybe you guys have too. Maybe you're one of those crafters that have made things out of these windmills. So, a little while ago, they had these windmills in kind of this, I don't know what you would call it, brushed silver, maybe? Brushed silver metal color? And then they also had more of a galvanized steel kind of color um, that's a much lighter silver, obviously. So, and again, with the welcome signs, y'all, the welcome signs, and they're written different in differently than the other one. I mean, again, that could be a stencil. Yeah. So, what I did is I bought, I've never done one of the farmhouse signs with the um, windmill on them, 
but I want to try it. I want to be like everybody else a little bit sometimes. So, and I really like the windmills, and I like some of the DIYs I've seen with them. So I got two in this color, two in this color, so that I can try out some farmhouse signs or decor or things like that with the windmills. So there's that. Okay, we'll set that aside. And where are we at now? We're at about 20 minutes almost. So I think I'm going to wrap this up. And I will do some other things on another DIY video. Or, excuse me, another Dollar Tree haul video very soon. Maybe even tonight, you guys. Okay, so there's going to be at least one more coming up that is... Actually... <coughs> excuse me, y'all. Mm. Okay, my allergies have been killing me all day. That was bound to happen. Anyway, there's at least two more coming up because one more will be a Dollar Tree haul on a bunch of different kinds of stuff that I've gotten over the past two months. Um, and what I'm going to use it for as well. I'll give you some ideas on not only what I got and what to look for at your Dollar Tree, but what things might be coming soon and also um, to look out for at your Dollar Tree and also what I'm going to use these things for. Then there's going to be a third one that's just going to be tools and things like that that I got at Dollar Tree and kind of a review of them. Like I'm going to do a review of things like Goo Gone and this roller and this craft eraser um, and a couple other things. So stay tuned. Make sure you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you have a question or something you'd like to add or a tip or trick or maybe you bought some of the things I did and made something out of them. Let me know. I would love to hear feedback from you guys. And please, if you'd like to see more and those upcoming haul video, Dollar Tree haul videos and more DIYs, please subscribe. I would love to have you subscribe and join my channel. And then you won't miss out on any of those new videos coming up. And if you want to follow me on social media, that information will be down below in the comments. I love you guys so much. Happy crafting. Bye.